Hey, Tim Frisch with a Frisch Perspective here. There's a lot going on right now in the world and in our country. Yesterday was a really sad day, actually, in many ways, but just indicative of the times that we're in. Uh, there was a, a big rally, from what I understand, in Washington, D.C., uh, and toward the end of the day, uh, things kind of uh, escalated, and there was a group of people that actually breached the Capitol building in Washington and entered the building, and it actually prevented the Senate from debating and counting the electoral votes for the election for President of the United States. So this was obviously a huge story, and a lot of people are reacting very strongly to it. There was a certain level of violence in this situation, and uh, I think me with many others are saying we do not condone violence. But I wanted to just talk about this a little bit because, first of all, I just think as Christians we should be encouraged in this time to be praying and looking to God in faith. It's so easy to feel frustrated, discouraged, and overwhelmed, no matter what view we have on things. But all of this really encourages us to keep our eyes on the Lord in difficult times. So I definitely want to encourage us to do that. I also just wanted to share some thoughts about why is this kind of thing happening. And I know, you know, different people have different views on it. Some people are on one side of things, some people on another side of things. That's really a lot of what's going on in this country right now. I don't want to necessarily give strong opinions here in this video, but I just want to kind of give some assessments of what I think factually is happening, at least from one side of the country's perspective. And I think one thing we have to keep in mind here is that there is a large portion of this country that sees things one way and a large portion of this country that sees things in another way. And of course there are extremes on both of those sides as well. So that's something to keep in mind. But generally speaking, you have two sides in our country that see this country and the world very differently. And one large portion of this country really believes that there was election fraud in the presidential election, at least to some degree. And so one of the things that led to what happened yesterday Remember, this was a Stop the Steal rally, so the whole premise of the rally is that the election was stolen. And Donald Trump, the President of the United States, has actually said that. He believes that the election was stolen. Now, whether people actually are right about that or not, one of the things that would have definitely helped, in my opinion, and I think Senator Ted Cruz was advocating for this, is that there really should be a an investigation and the Congress or the legislative body of the United States really should form a committee to do an objective look into the election and to investigate it very thoroughly. One of the problems I think is that a lot of people in the country feel that election fraud wasn't taken seriously enough. So I think that what Senator Cruz was advocating for would have been helpful. It would have made people feel like something was being taken seriously. And then if election fraud wasn't enough to overturn the election, at least people would have known that it was investigated. But I think a lot of people felt like it wasn't even taken seriously. And of course, when you're on the winning side, you tend to not take those things seriously. When Donald Trump won the election, there was a whole side of this country that felt that he had done something wrong to win the election, and they felt that they needed to be taken seriously. But that leads to the second thing, that people feel powerless in this situation. And again, this is, this is one side of our culture in our country that feels that the country has changed a lot and it's continuing to move in a certain direction. And whether you agree with that direction being good or not, I know there are some people who are saying, yes, we need to change, but there are a lot of people in our country that see that change, they feel threatened by it, and they, they really sense that they're losing their country. I'm sure there are a lot of people watching this channel, watching a video like this, who would say that, yes, I'm losing the United States of America that I know and love. And not only are they losing that, they feel powerless to do anything about it because what are the ways they can deal with that? They, they don't have the media speaking on their behalf, 
and I'm talking about the press, the teaching institutions by and large aren't really speaking on their behalf, and our cultural institutions, many television shows, movies, Hollywood, the Hollywood industry, many businesses even, are really not reflecting the values and beliefs of the people that I'm talking about. And so these people feel, feel very powerless. Now again, I realize there's a lot of people in our country who say, good riddance, we shouldn't be what we used to be, we need to change. But the people who do not feel that way feel they have no voice and no way to stand for what they believe in. So with everything happening in the country right now, going in the direction it is, and these people feeling like they have no way to possibly deal with it and bring things back to where they wish things would be and protect their values, the things that they care about, this is leading to worse and worse dissension. And the third thing that I want to point out that's making it even worse is that we have the press and social media that are actually feeding dissension rather than diffusing it. And that's something that has really exacerbated the problem over the last, well, really for a long time, but it's gotten worse and worse in the last few years. And so people are just at each other's throats and people are not listening to each other. One reason I'm doing a video like this is just to think through it myself, but also I think to just kind of express things on behalf of some people who see it a certain way, but also to encourage conversation because I know in our country we don't see things the same way. And one of the really important things that we need to do is we need to learn to listen to people who don't agree with us and we need to learn how to talk to people who don't agree with us and encourage understanding. But ultimately, I know it's discouraging and we wonder how are we gonna move forward as a country. We don't know all the answers and we don't know the future, but we do as Christians know the one who does know the future and is in control of all things. So again, I wanna conclude this with where I started. I know it's discouraging. I know everything I've talked about, it can feel like, well, what do we do? We feel powerless. But regardless of where you are at in all of this, if you are a Christian, I encourage you, keep your eyes on Jesus and pray to the one who has everything under control. Trust him in everything. And regardless of what's happening around us, God will take care of you. I hope that's a bit of an encouragement and help to you. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below, but thank you as always for listening to some of my thoughts from a fresh perspective.